everybody, welcome to Pun Intended and a brutally honest review of Infinite Warfare. Um, We're in space. Shoot down well, the enemy now skelters. It's, now it's inverted. L2 to lock on. Oh, fuck. Play inverted. Play inverted. I just don't understand why is it inverted now. Uh, for those of you who just are joining us, we are playing the free trial campaign to Infinite Warfare and giving our honest, brutal review. You're not shooting at anything. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck! Jessie's playing this, and she's playing inverted. This is hard. Because I play inverted, and in the last episode, I was playing. It's so touchy. Like, can I go for it? Yeah, I can go for it. Yeah, you go for it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Do you have to ruin space battles for me, too, Call of Duty? Whoa. What's even happening in I this I don't game? know. Why are we fighting in space all of a sudden? Because it's space battles. Was there an explanation? It's the future. Oh. Oh, dude, you're staying on it pretty good. God damn. Whoa. You gotta turn around. Wow, holy shit. Uh, I'm feeling pukey. <laughs> I'm very pukey right now. Release flares! Well, you're too late now. Oh, shit. I don't know. I want it to be fun, but goddamn. It's not. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you like you completely moved out of the way of that. Just so you know, if you lock Do on. Do you have missiles? Nope. You don't have any missiles? Nope. What? What kind of garbage is that? You have flares and you have your pew pew. Play it like you're playing Ace Combat. Never played Ace Combat. You never played Ace Combat? What's Ace Combat? It was a, uh, you're in fighter jets, and you're like... Oh, now I can switch to fucking cannons. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Really flares. Just did. Good job. Why am I flying away from it? Fuck you. Okay, not gonna lie, if this is what all the space battles are like, this is bullshit. Switch guns. Yeah. It's like the slightest touch, and you're flying everywhere. Flares. There you go. Wow. Watching this, this sucks. <laughs> it's not fun. It might look like the greatest battle you've ever witnessed. I can that was a little you, bullshit. I can assure you it's not. Left. Left. Go left. Yeah, regroup. You're a wreck. Go there to where the arrow is. Yeah, go that way. Abnormal readings. Yeah, this game. Okay, so we just... We hit into a thing? Am I shooting? Or did I wreck? Why is there a robot spooning me? There's a robot spooning me. Oh, Sean Snow. Get back to your wall. I, I still can't believe he wanted his name to be affiliated with this game. He didn't know. He didn't know how sucky it was going to be. How are you supposed to know? You hear Call of Duty, you think Triple A shooter. Oh, dude. How much do you think they paid him to do this? Obviously all of their budget. Like... If you think about it, like, taking time off of Game of Thrones to come and well, act in this? I feel like they only record Game of Thrones, like, six months out of the year or something. So, like, he probably had some downtime. But still, like, could you imagine how much they paid him to do this? Yeah. 
He doesn't need to work anymore. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I feel like he gets a million dollars an episode of Game of Thrones anyway. And we, just, lo- we love uh-huh. you, Jon Snow. Yes. I don't know what his real name is. Do you know? No, I should no? know. We'll have to look it up, but we love Jon Snow. I just want you to know right now, this entire sequence, I have no control over where my ship is going. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> what, it was, too, it was too good for you? Oh, wait, now I'm allowed to go forward. Okay, there we go. Oh, you gotta land. Dude, you gotta land. You gotta land. <laughs> yeah. Land it. Land it. Oh. oh, it grabs me. Holds me like a wee babe. Oh, God. Jelly donut copy. Jelly donut copy. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> it's that, dead. That was hard to watch. It gave me a headache. Like, honestly, if you get slightly motion sick, this game is not for you. No. And I've been playing shooters, like I said, for a long time. That was the first time I legitimately feel, like, dizzy after something. And I beat Titanfall 2, which was all air battles and titans and shit. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. What are those guys doing? Patty cake. They're caking. I want cake with me. You're a patty daddy? Oh, lesbian. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. They're just really good at opening chips. (laughs) Opening chips? Am I hungry? I feel like I'm hungry. (laughs) (laughs) Am I hungry? I feel like my hunger is coming out. Alright, what's happening here? Oh, I want to salute... Can't I press X to salute? <laughs> nope. Pay respects. Air boss. That's what I call it. Breathing in some air boss. Breathing the air, dream Bob. Ooh, first aid. Take it off, air balls. What? No. This? <laughs> she's still mad about it. Yeah, she's she's stingy. Weren't we just here? No, there was... We were food. never here! There was food around in the last one. Oh, I can run. Yep. And I guess you're grabbing that. Yeah. What are we doing? I guess you're moving that? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, guy. Staff. Omar. Omar Gooding. Don't you have to get back to reading Rainbow? Don't you have to get back to Wild and Crazy Kids? Because that's what he's from. What was the dude's name? He was name? not from reading Rainbow. I, I'm not going to lie. They're, I've been getting Omar Gooding and who's from reading Rainbow? I can't remember his name. He was also, yeah, look it up. He was also Jordy in Star Trek. What? Yeah. The guy from Reading Rainbow was in Star Trek? Yeah, the dude with the uh, glasses around his eyes. No, he wasn't. He was. Why would I make that up? Because you don't know what you're saying. I'm positive. 100% positive. Oh, we're suddenly the highest ranking. Oh, go figure. What's his name? LeVar Burton. Okay, hosted by LeVar Burton. So if I look up LeVar Burton, Star Trek will come on. It should. Always. Aw, oh, that's cute. I will say that women are very well represented in this game. He was in Star Trek. I told you. The next generation. He was also in Roots. I guess. Roots is all kinds of famous. Uh, 
then you got this guy. Sorry, Reigns, but I don't. None of us really care. Ugh. He's not dead yet, is he? No. All right. Honestly, I don't care about the story, so yeah, we're gonna skip fuck that. this. Skip it. <clears throat> we're on the ground again. Can I pick up that trophy? <sighs> this is my trophy. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without this trophy, no, without me, this trophy is nothing. Without my trophy, I am nothing. Alright, they gave me a trophy and they're giving me a minute. Did something bad happen? Yeah, you gotta check your Facebook to see what Aunt Ida is all about. I need about. to tweet about this. Tweet, tweet. Armory's inspection. Oh. God, I don't care. Okay. Is that all I have to do? Yep. Jesus. Go figure. Alright. Can you hit, like, options or something and see what your objective is? Probably this. Oh. Uh, I get to play the four-way battle ship. This game sucks. It sucks so bad. Oh, wait, we're giving an honest opinion. That is my honest opinion. <laughs> but we have to make it, like... All right. Uh, we're we're going to see yeah. to the end of this and see what it's like. Well structured. Okay. Oh, we're going somewhere. CPU fire and bridge sector. Alright, so what's... Do I do something? <laughs> do I, like, help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did a thing. See, this is, like, disappointing because this game looks visually amazing. Oh, I can leave now. Yeah, like, I like looking out into space. It's pretty. Like, look at this. You know? That's a planet. We're, like, right above a planet. Yeah. Cool. So, like, why uh... did they have to make every other aspect of this game super sucky? The fuck do I do now? I uh, go that way? I definitely missed the little objective marker. Yeah, like, I know we complained yeah. about hand holding with the grenades, but Staff Sergeant Omar Squad. Maybe that's why I got it confused, because they were just throwing Omar in. Blah blah blah. I don't need your office drama. Yeah. What's that guy doing? Kick. Kick. Uh, open door. Wow. I think you playing is making me very <laughs> motion sickness, and that's something that does not happen to me. Oh my god, who cares? <laughs> Go to the marker. I Go tried. It disappeared. Go to the marker. Go to it. I'm gonna add it. You can, you can stop. Is that a vault, Griff? Energy weapon. Ferris Bueller. It's like Ferris Bueller oh and his God. best friend had a kid. Who cares? Oh, fine. I was just talking about how I... Fuck all of it. This sucks, dude. Why are we doing all of this? I... Like, what, what are you even in? I... I know how to shoot a gun. This would have been nice. You know, an hour ago, at the beginning of this fucking trial. Why, why, like, just now are they doing this? They quit. Quit VR firing range. Okay. Alright, back out of this. Confirm for mission. Okay. Why would they put that in, like, the middle of a fucking shit? So you can test out the gun, I assume. <sighs> but like I just said, I don't like picking a class for a campaign. Give me the gun and let me pick shit up as I go. God damn it, man. That was, that, like, that's a completely unnecessary thing in this game. Right? Like, yeah, no, I agree. I realize, I'm pretty sure Black Ops 2 did it. But it was like... Did they? Yeah, but it was forgiven because it was like, here's your class, 
change something if you want. And there were like I, two. I, there I, were two achievements. It was like I think uh, I vaguely remember something and, like that. But it didn't hinder the game whatsoever. Like you could totally ignore it if you wanted to. You didn't even know. Like you said, you didn't even know it was there. Right. Um, Boost but, but yeah, I, I vaguely remember something in Black Ops 2 doing that, mm -hmm. but not to where it stopped the game and was like, you need to learn how to use this weapon. <sighs> and we still got the multiplayer to play this game. This game is stealing my will to live. Nothing is hap- we've been- oh, I like flipped the mic a little bit. <laughs> We've been playing this game for 15 minutes, and nothing has happened in this fucking game. Nothing. This is legitimately stuff like, okay, it threw us in gunfire, that's cool. This, what's happening right now, should have been the beginning of the fucking demo. Or a free trial, or whatever it is. Sergeant Destroyer? No. Let me get in. Do you have to talk to that group of people right there? Who cares? I don't remember a why, Call of Duty being so slow. Why is it this slow to start a fucking mission? Can I get in? Oh my oh, god. Oh, you gotta get in the back? Amos. Oh my god. Play the fucking game, Call of Duty. This is like fucking torture. It's torture to start a fucking mission. Trial limit reach. That's the end of the fucking trial? It took us that fucking long and nothing happened? We could have skipped this whole last episode because literally nothing happened. Hit the... Okay. Fucking cancel. Hit ca that, that, like, that's where they ended it. Okay, okay. Let's take a step back. Okay. Let's try so, to categorize this. Going by what we played in the campaign This so is far. strictly campaign. Strictly campaign of what we played in the free trial so far. Okay, so. You go first. Okay, I'm gonna try to categorize it good on a list. I already said the graphics... Which Crucifon doesn't agree with me. We're three point five for me. Um, the voice acting is like solid four and a half or five because they got high A level people to do it. Um, obviously, <coughs> okay, this, we're still going like superficial. So story wise, I guess is somewhat superficial. We hear a pun intended, don't totally pay attention to a story, as I'm sure you've noticed. But I still couldn't tell you what the fuck was going on. Like, it was very, very, like, it was fast-paced, like, here's this, here's that, do this, do that. Awesome. And then jams you to a halt and gives you no option to do anything else. Like, you're literally wandering around... You have to choose your gun for a mission, which slows down the flow of everything. Makes you feel a lot less involved, in my opinion. Um, I couldn't tell you any of the characters' names. I guess a lot of people died. I do like that there's a good representation of women in there. I've seen a lot of women, and that's cool. It's like 50-50, it seems. Um, but story-wise, if we're still going out of five, like two... Two, because they thought... I guess they thought it out. Um, again, I couldn't tell you what's going on. I don't give a fuck about the characters. And, yeah, so two out of five for the story. Um, as far as pacing goes, which I covered on, is like a fucking one. It was horrible. It felt like torture. And um, handling... Handling, it feels like a Call of Duty, like, boots on the ground, it feels like Call of Duty. Did we double jump? No. Not No, there not was a little, much. there were a few spots where you couldn't. It felt okay, but handling was Call of Duty. So what, handling, like, four out of five, because it's Call of Duty. 
but the spaceship thing one it was the dumbest thing you couldn't you could only control the ship at certain amount of time um you couldn't see where you were going they inverted it for no reason i was playing on standard mm -hmm. they inverted it and it was very very touchy it made me motion sick so yeah one out of five so overall campaign and if there's something else that you want us to cover in that comment below but overall campaign for me in this call of duty two i know the numbers don't add up but fucking two it was horrible okay my review uh crucify and review of what we played in the call of duty infinite warfare free trial uh it fucking sucked I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to blow smoke up anybody's butthole. What I played in this free trial fucking sucks. Visually, uh, me and Jesse have a different opinion. I think the way the game looks is a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, I believe it looks great. I believe the graphics are amazing. And I believe that they're using the power of the PS4 uh, to make it look like that. Anything else besides the way that it looks fucking sucks. Yeah, do numbers. Do numbers like I did. Okay, zero. <laughs> All across the board, what I played in this free trial, if this is the alpha of Infinite Warfare, it fucking sucks. What do you um, mean alpha? Like the final product. Oh, yeah. That's what the alpha is. Um, mm. So you have like the beta? No, the alpha is first. The alpha is the basic, basic uh, no, no, outline. Yeah. No, no. Alpha is the finished product. Um, I'll look that up, but okay. The alpha is the finished product. So if this is what Call of Duty... <laughs> Call of Doofy. That's appropriate. If this is what Call of Duty Infinite Warfare has to offer, I am very, very glad that I did not spend money on this game or spend money to pre-order it or anything else. So, campaign-wise, I think we're both on the same page um, that we wouldn't spend $5 on this game. Campaign is nothing new. It doesn't feel any different. Like Jesse said, it still feels like Call of Duty. Uh, the way it looks and the graphics are really, really, really good, I believe. Um, and would I spend money on it? Absolutely fucking not. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about the campaign that I've played. That I am very, very glad that I didn't spend money on this. Yeah, we basically don't care to continue the campaign. Like, I'm not so sold on the story that I need to keep going. No. So. Um, but stay tuned. We are going to play the... Multiplayer. Multiplayer is next. Yeah. We'll do two episodes. One for me and one for Crucify. And we're going, to, we're going to give our honest opinion on that. As far as the campaign goes, what was presented to us fucking blows. Yeah, it's really bad. So, next time on Pun Intended, uh, keep watching for our multiplayer review. Thanks for watching. Next time. Bye.